Hello my dear students, myself Mrs. Rajeshri Uchi, I am teaching Maths and EBS 1 for you. Children, I hope you all are in good health and safe at your home. Due to this pandemic situation, we all are missing our classroom, isn't it? But we are here to teach you through the pre-recorded videos. I hope you will enjoy learning at your home by watching these videos. Today I am going to teach you the first lesson of mathematics that is lesson number one geometrical figures. Children you must have learned the different shapes and the uh, geometrical figures in the lower classes. Can you recollect it? Yes? Triangles, rectangles, squares, circle. Yes? Yes. These are the geometrical figures. But in 4th standard, we are going to learn something more about the geometrical figures. And here, the first subtopic, what we are going to learn today is about the angles. So, what is an angle? Let's learn about it. Look at this box. Which shape is this? Yes, it is a rectangle. The box is of rectangular shape. A rectangle has four sides. Okay, so when you look at these two sides, these two sides are meeting at a particular point. So, when these two lines meet at this point, the space occupied by these two lines are forming an angle. So, here the angle is formed when these two lines meet at a point. Similarly, in your textbook, the pictures are given here. So, look at here. In the first picture, we can see angles between the ground and the slide. So here we can see the angle. And in the next picture, the ladder makes an angle with the ground. The ladder makes an angle with the ground. And here, look at the tree. The tree trunk makes the angle with the branches of the tree. So, the angles are made between the tree trunk and the branches. And similarly, in this picture, the electric pole makes an angle with the ground. So, these are the angles. Now, let's learn about the types of angles. There are three types of angles. A right angle, an acute angle, an obtuse angle. So what is a right angle? Children, look at this picture. Here, the two perpendicular lines are meeting at one point and it makes 90 degree with each other. Such type of angles are known as right angle. And next, we have the acute angle. The angle which is less than the 90 degree and the angle which measures less than 90 degree smaller than the right angle is known as acute angle. In the same way the angle which is greater than the right angle that is which measures more than 90 degree is known as obtuse angle. So children, there are three types of angles, right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle. The right angle measures 90 degree whereas acute angle is smaller than the right angle and obtuse angle is greater than the right angle. So here we can, we can make the angles by using the matchsticks. Now, just observe here. So, this is a right angle and the angle smaller than the right angle 
is known as the acute angle and the angle greater than the right angle is known as the obtuse angle so right angle acute angle and obtuse angle so this can be shown by using the scissors so when i keep the blades of the scissors perpendicular to each other we can make a right angle and when the right angle is made smaller it makes an acute angle and when the right angle is made greater then it is a obtuse angle in the similar way we can show the angles by using the clocks so in this clock the clock shows 9 o'clock so the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock are perpendicular to each other so this shows the right angle so when i change the time the right angle it is the time now shows that is 5 minutes to 9 855 so the angle here shown here is smaller than the right angle so it is acute angle so when i move the minute hand the now the angle shown here is right angle and when the angle when the our minute hand moves to 9 10 that is the time shown here is 9 10 now we can say that the hour hand and minute hand makes obtuse angle so this way we can learn the types of angles look here children there is an activity for you here the dots are shown here and by using these dots we have to draw the types of angles first let's start with the right angle so if i start drawing the angle here by joining these three dots it become a right angle here so in the similar way a right angle can be of this type also and here is a right angle we can join these dots and here also we can make the right angle so this way the right angles can be made in the next we are making the acute angle a acute angle is smaller than the right angle so this is a acute angle and this is also an acute angle and if you want to make bigger one you can use this also so these are the acute angles now we'll move on to the obtuse angle on to the obtuse angle to draw the obtuse angle you can draw the angle this way that is greater than the right angle so this is the obtuse angle an assignment for you children observe the clock carefully at your home and identify the angle made by the hour hand and minute hand at different intervals of time thank you students we'll meet again